I'm going to say everyone, I'm a Valentine, you like, what well, what's up everybody, I'm a Valentine here. Welcome back to my channel, oh yeah, oh welcome, and if it's your first time here, then you need to subscribe, obviously, so you can stay with me. All right, y'all. Good morning. Let me see what time it is, actually. It's 6.43. So, I have to be at work at 8.30. Got up at 4.30. Got in the gym about 5. But, um, y'all, y'all know. My Instagram is at on the OTW. I am on the way. Do you feel me? I'm on the way to success. On the way to, um, happiness. On the way to... Being exceptional, being the greatest at everything that I do. I'm, I'm on the way to being a billionaire, on the way to being a millionaire, on the way to owning, excuse me, hella real estate, on the way to owning hella companies, being a CEO, and being a producer. And y'all, the work chat, they're chatting, it's 6.43 in the morning, but things have to go on. Um, they're not just chatting, they're talking about like, yo, this thing is off, and I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, <laughs> the stress is coming, oh my god, they're waiting on you, oh my god. I feel like sometimes I have to remind myself that like, whenever I get on these like really good moments, on these really good strides, I start to get worried that I'll have to like go through hell again but it's almost like i've forgotten that i went through hell and came out on the other side already yeah um yeah they're just girl i don't know i don't know girl i i couldn't tell you fam let's just get into this makeup I'm getting all worried about what they got going on. But what they got going on, I gotta represent. Now, this just reminded me. So there was this one time quite a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago. Girl, it's been years. Um, when I first started my YouTube channel, now I was watching all this content talking about like, yeah, ask ask your friends for their like opinions and like make sure you're checking in to see if people are actually like liking this and that and all of that and my me now i have the advice to people that when they're starting something don't even ask anybody for a goddamn opinion in fact if you think that person is gonna say something that will throw you off from doing what you're doing don't tell them that you're even doing it at all period because if there's any room for you to sway me away or dissuade me from doing what i know that i need to be doing or that i really want to do that I have a dream for, I'm not even going to give you that room anymore, right? But anyways, this was back then. So I was making this video, and it was like a makeup video. And now I've always wanted to do makeup videos. Um, I've always wanted to do like DIY videos, makeup videos, vlogs, all of that. I used to watch a lot of My Life is Ava, and I used to watch like Tyler Oakley, and like o2l so my youtube dreams began there dan howell like that's where my youtube dreams really began with all of those people and specifically um my wife is ava like i really just loved her makeup so much i loved how like her under eyes were so bright all the time it was almost like slightly too bright and i liked that and i was like mm, that's just so like i don't know it's just so cool and i was like i can't wait till i can like get concealer and like do that myself and you know go get all these hauls and just do all the cool stuff that she was doing at the time right so anyways and then you know of course the beauty community i don't know what the hell is going on with the beauty community now but girl i haven't really been watching any beauty youtuber since like 2018 and i believe that's when like i just remember the last times that i was really watching beauty youtube stuff was like shit was going on with manny mua and like i don't know i don't 
I don't even know. I don't know. I just, it's no hate to anybody, but I just don't really like, I think I just fell out of like a real love with it. Like, I don't even know what it became for real, but I just wasn't feeling pulled as much anymore. But, um, yeah, so I always wanted to do makeup videos, like doing stuff like this, get ready with me, all that type of stuff. So I made a video similar to this where I just was like getting ready or doing something like that. I sent it to my friend. I'm like, hey, what do you think? Give me some feedback. And she goes, you look really oily. Like that light makes you really look really oily. Like, do you have a better light? And me at the time, I was like so disappointed and I was like so just like why would she even say that like she knows damn well that I'm not asking hey bitch do I look oily the fuck but when I was like what she was like I mean you asked me for feedback and you look oily and I was just like girl what the fuck are you saying right now like the fuck but um it's just like <laughs> it's just stupid shit like that where it's like bruh anytime somebody like, I was vulnerable. I still am vulnerable. We all are vulnerable. Everyone's vulnerable. But I have grown a little bit since then. I mean, I'm almost 22. And a girl is getting a lot more consistent. Okay? A lot more disciplined. Alright? And your girl's feeling like she's about to be prospering. Okay? But still, like, at the time, like, that comment kept me. I haven't made, like... I wasn't really making any makeup videos, like, for real since then. Like, y'all might have seen one sparingly here and there. But, um, since then, girl, like, how much get, how many get ready videos have y'all seen for me? Like, how much makeup content have you seen? And, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, it happens and you forget about it, but, like, you kind of make the decision of, like, okay, well, maybe I just shouldn't do this right now. And then you just forget about it. You end up just entirely forgetting that, hey, like, this is a whole big part of my dream of, like, wanting to do YouTube was having this type of content, too. So, like, why haven't I done anything with this content? And then you start to look back and be like, well, where did I, when did I stop being so consistent? Where did I go wrong? What was going on? And you're like, oh, shit. Like, I was fighting with eight people at the time. And, like, oh, shit, there was ten people telling me that I need to go to school instead of work on YouTube. And, like, oh, shit, like, there's... You know, 15 people telling me that music is not a real job and, like, shit like that. And, um, it just makes sense of, like, yo, like, I see why you haven't been, you know, as consistent as you could have. And it's, like, in one hand, it's an excuse because of all the fear and all of the, you know, blah, 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 blah. I think I need a little bit more. But at the same time, it's, like, it's just real. Like, it's a real reason. And, you know, as you're growing, like, I'm growing as a human. I'm growing into who I really am um yeah I think that's better because girl when I tell you this beauty blender ate it up girl it ate it up um I want to be able to see the brightness and I'm gonna bring it down a little bit and you put it down I'm gonna big it up 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 where did it go oh so hey girl needs a little love speaking of that song I've just been thinking about how like a lot of times things that have been popular before have a higher chance of becoming popular. It's called like the remix strategy, basically. But I learned that from um, Jump Cut. Jump Cut! Back when I was watching all their like trial runs and I was like, oh my god, if I get this, I'm gonna get so famous so fast. I need to like make sure my tags are right on this video. What am I chatting about? Where am I going? Ooh, there we go. That's that a little bit too bright that I was looking for. Yes, ma'am. I can't tell like how blended this really is though. So let's see. All right, I am going to put powder on. Yep, put on powder because because I feel like I need it. I want it to set. Um, and I want it to look how I want it to look. So we're going to put on some powder. It's going to look like little stuff in the air. So I'm going to get spilled a little bit. 
getting on the scene here. Oh, oh, oh. It's messy. She's messy, y'all. Too, actually I'm starting to like get serious about making sure my makeup stays on all day and um, I'm gonna do what it takes fam I'm gonna do what it takes so whatever that is I sure like my nose though. I feel like I like my nose to have a little bit of like shine. I'm not looking for a matte nose. <sighs> Let me see. I feel like my face looks very bright. But as long as it's matching my skin tone for real, then we're good. Um, the powder. But yeah, so she said that, and we ended up falling out in the end. They were actually like, she was rude to me, which I'm not a victim. Well, I'm not trying to say, like, I'm not saying this. What I'm saying by me not saying that I'm not a victim is I'm not trying to say this to make you feel bad for me. I'm not saying this for her to be like, oh my God, is that? I'm just saying, y'all, this is just my get ready with me. Like, this is not trying to be negative or anything like that. But I am just going to talk about my life, my experiences. And, um, yeah. Um, but I just feel like maybe you can relate. And I feel like oftentimes those things that just come up in my head, um, especially while I'm like filming and recording, they have to do with y'all. They have to do with you know, your life. Okay, fuck it. I couldn't find a brush. I'm just gonna. Should I do brown? I wanna do brown. No. This one? No. I feel like it's a little too dark. Ooh, let's try this. Um, but yeah. Ooh. This glass, this mirror is kind of broken. That's actually really dangerous to me in my bed. And it's dangerous for me to be holding it like that. Why am I being so casual about this? Why, Alma? There's a little trash can right there. It's in the wrong spot, but. And I was supposed to be like, you know, cleaning up my desk over there. Like, if y'all are watching the vlog of this day, then you'll be like, oh, Alma, I thought you said you were going to clean your desk. Girl, I thought I was going to clean it too, girl. I really did. By the way, this is like two years old now. Isn't that crazy? Again, back from when... Maybe it's three years. It might be four years. Oh my god, this might be five years old. 35XL Morphe Palette Girl. She's still here though. They say it lasts one year. Obviously, I did not listen. Nor care. And it still works just fine for me. So, um, yes. Also... Let's talk about this. So, I watched this little documentary like a month or so ago, and it talked about like the way that mica is deposited in India and how there's so much child labor involved with it. I say as I'm like packing on this shiny ass eyeshadow. But, um,. It was just like showing these kids like going in and getting this mica powder. And I think it's so, like, insane, right? And at the same time, I even recognize within myself, like, this disconnect between seeing that and being like, well, yeah, but I'm sure it's not this. You know what I mean? Like, I would still go out and buy a product that has mica in it and just be like, yeah, but I'm sure it's not, like, you know, that. And I know that there was that one company, it might have been Estee Lauder, I gotta see which one it is, that, like, pledged to not, like, use mica from, like, a certain thing. And, um, I don't know, y'all. I just think it's kind of weird. Not kind of weird. I think it's actually absolutely fucking insane. Um, that, like, 
these kids are down in these fucking mines so that we can put on fucking eyeshadow. Like, that's insane to me. And, like, I want to just be like, you know what, no, I'll never buy eyeshadow again until da 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 But at the same time, I'm like, I'm a, like, I'm probably still going to buy eyeshadow. And, like, I'm not trying to be an asshole for it, you know? And, um, but it also makes me like, well... In the future, like, I feel like the more, y'all y'all know, I want to be a billionaire. I feel like the more money that you have, um, there's often times where you can get to a point where you're, like, you yourself are ready to, like, fucking change the world type shit. And, like, revolutionize shit like that. Am I saying that word right? I think so. But, um... Part of me was like, well, by the time I'm, like, really going in and making my makeup company, which I believe I have the name for already, actually. <laughs> I've had a lot of plans, y'all, for a long time. Very long time. Life has just been, uh, you know, getting me adjusted to where life wants me to be at. We'll put it like that. Um, look at that, look at that, look at that. Look at, I look snatched. Snatched as hell. Excuse me, I don't really like putting a lot of makeup on my nose. I put a highlighter on my nose, but y'all might have noticed that with the foundation, I didn't go over my nose. I you know, I come like right to the sides and then just let it be. I feel like my nose is like really really cute. How it is? Thank you, Mama and Fova, for my nose. Um. <laughs> so let's see. Um, but yeah, at the same time, I'm like, oh, I'm not gonna be unrealistic and be like, yeah, I'll never buy an eyeshadow again. Because at first when I watched it, I was like, oh my god, I'm never fucking buying eyeshadow again. Then I was like, okay, like, are you really gonna not do that? And what's really crazy is that, um, 7 a.m. alarm cut me off. But, um, what's really crazy is that, like, what was I saying? Oh, like, it's the the people that own the land that are, like, allowing that shit. And, like, the government needs to be the one that's like, no, the fuck. But they don't. And I'm like, bro, what the hell is going on? I don't know, fam. that's good with that and then before i i probably should have done this before i did my eyeliner actually but let us spray this down because i don't want my mascara to get like flaky here and i don't want my eyeliner to run when i do like my sprays but i didn't think about that and I accidentally just did it already so i'm gonna grab that and i'll be right back Okay, oops, I left that thing on, I'll be back. Urban Decay All Nighter, but the glow one. Ultra Glow Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray All Day Wear Lightweight Temperature Control Technology. I don't know how the hell this shit works, but girl. I need you to. Y'all, that's just me moving the bed because I'm doing this. Nothing else is happening. Shit, the poor mess. Ooh. It's a little much though. I'm not gonna hold you. I need something to fan it. I need.
Okay. There we go. She sprayed down. How's my neck looking in comparison, y'all? What do y'all think? I think it looks good. I think it's right. I feel like my face looks really smooth and shiny, and my neck doesn't look that shiny, but girl, it's okay. It is okay. Um trying to make sure I properly take care of the nice things that I have so I don't fuck me up. I feel like I need to throw up. Maybe I need some food. Let me go get that strawberry ass. Yeah, I need that. It needs to melt, but what else do I need? Oh, I wanted to try something new with my blush today. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Okay, so this is what I'm going to use. Lips and blush. So whoop, can't drop the fancy nah. But um I got this last year and it is for your lips. But I am going to use all my cheeks because I want to have that bright kind of like rosy, not rosy, but floral, shall we? Maybe like an orange blossom. Girl, I'm trying to give you these descriptions. I'm trying to keep you entertained. Are you entertained? Please tell me you're entertained. But um, I want to just look kind of sun-kissed. That's what I was looking for. Like the sun-kissed little like, like island vibes, like very just healthy like I want to look very healthy that's always been my thing I feel like the sexiest look is just looking like you're very healthy um I think that might be good I'll put a little bit on the lips as well yeah a little bit more uh, I don't know I have the Waleda lip balm on right now Now this is, this dries like this soft cushiony type of matte. It says ink airy velvet and yeah, that's pretty accurate. Like it dries like this soft matte, but your lips still feel moisturized and plush, which is great. And I personally really enjoy that. My alarm's got me fucked up right now. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then now this, actually, let me let it dry for a second. Let's do brows, because I forgot that. I got the mini. When I tell you, it feels like there's absolutely nothing in it. <laughs> like, I see it's still doing something. Like, I can see what it's doing, but I'm like, this mini was $9, and I was like, oh, perfect. But I should have really thought that through and been like, I don't know, like, there's next to nothing in this. <laughs> So I'll probably just get a bigger one next time. But this is clear. I feel like a big part of like makeup and looking nice for me is not so much looking entirely made up. Like I told you, I don't really put you know anything on my nose. And this is clear, right? But it's just, it's like a maintenance thing. It's like the fact that you are taken care of the fact that you're put together the fact that you put in the effort at all like that is what looks so good with my makeup i believe that's my opinion and the way i kind of go about my own makeup And I'm not necessarily trying to go for a no makeup makeup look, but I feel like my makeup kind of ends up looking like, well, at least I hope it does. <laughs> I hope it feels like, hmm, her skin is really good, but I do see she's wearing a little makeup. Wow. Hmm. Like that. Or really they're like, I don't know where her skin begins and her makeup ends. It's so seamless. But then I, I realized, I was thinking about that and I thought that, um. My skin was just looking good last night. Like, I was on my story at Alma OTW, if y'all are not following me on Instagram. And, um, hold on, sorry. I was just, like, looking at my skin like, wow, my skin looks good. 
um but it was just my skin it wasn't even makeup i only had like the lip peri peri thing on and my skin was just clean i had just washed it and um i mean i had just like taken the shower and everything and i used makeup remover i can't remember if i actually like washed it properly though now i think about it but i had removed my makeup maybe there was a little bit left girl i don't know i tried <laughs> And if I didn't, then it was an accident. Um, but I watched it this morning, of course. Not of course, because girl, not everybody, you know. But I've had my times, I've had my days where I wasn't on it like that. So I'm not trying to shit on anybody, you know? Like I'm just getting this on it, on it now. Like to the point of me doing like a full face with like proper makeup and everything. We're just now here. I need to get like the on brand Q-tips in so I can clean this up. But can y'all even see, I don't even think y'all can, I don't know, there's just a little bit that's got some spots that should I be at. And I don't want dots. Me no want dots. Me no want dots. Um, I actually saw this thing um earlier today where he like put white right under the eyeliner to make it look more clean just gonna put a little bit because i don't have the proper brushes right now my brushes are not all clean either so I don't even know if y'all can really see a difference or how much of a difference I can even see, but I know it's there, girl. Hopefully it'll come through more when I need it to come through. Does that make sense? So like later in the day, my makeup has been worn already for like 12, 13 hours. That's when I need it to be doing amazing, so. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. This has been my get ready with me. I hope that y'all have an absolutely amazing, amazing, amazing day. If you want to see more of these, just comment below and let me know. And I will make sure to do this way more often for you. Um, love y'all so much. See y'all in the next video. Bye. <laughs>